I would say that the likelihood of a recession in the next two to three years in the U.S. has gone up significantly. Uh, you know, as I said, growth today is very strong, but we are late cycle. Unemployment is very low. Anecdotally, when we speak to companies, they're beginning to feel cost pressures right now. You know, in that environment, the Fed is going to be hiking rates to slow down the economy. And it's very difficult to manage that just right to make sure that you slow down the economy, but not too much. And then when you add to that concerns around or issues around the trade war, if they get sort of intensified, even if you don't have a trade war ultimately and things get settled down, but it does impact investor confidence, it impacts uh, company confidence, and it impacts consumer confidence. And that itself could sort of lead to that recession. So again, difficult to sort of you know, pinpoint a time and say that it's a base case, but we would say that the likelihood of a recession in the next couple of years has gone up significantly. Let's talk about trade. What we're seeing right now, arguably, are trade skirmishes. Are they now in danger of escalating into an outright trade war? Uh, is that a base case? And why do you think markets are being perhaps a bit too complacent about this risk? Again, I would say our base case is not a full-blown trade war. But we do see, because it is going to impact all economies significantly. And at some point, we think that rationality will come on hold and people will realize that if it's really having a severe impact on the economies, that they will sort of step back and there will be some compromises. That's the way we think it's going to play out. But frankly, over the next few months, we see these tensions sort of continue. And to that extent, you know, it is a risk that we're very conscious about. And in terms of the companies within your portfolio, what are they telling you about how they are preparing for a potential and I stress potential trade war, is there a lot of contingency planning that is going on? Are they deferring investment decisions, et cetera? Just how cautious or otherwise are they? I would say not as yet in terms of consciously deferring investment decisions because growth has been quite strong. But there are concerns now, people are beginning to debate that. You know, how bad is this gonna get? And does this sort of trigger a significant slowdown in the economy? And should I be reconsidering my investment decisions? So that discussion is going on right now, but I wouldn't say at least we are actively seeing uh, a pullback from our portfolio companies. Now, part of that may be because a lot of our companies are, uh, if you take, for example, the large number of portfolio companies we have in Asia Pacific in emerging markets, the main theme that we've invested behind out there is rising EM affluence. So it's really around consumption themes, around experiences like travel, around things like healthcare services, insurance, et cetera. And those are not likely to be impacted directly by a trade war. It's almost a natural hedge, isn't it? Yeah, well, if there's an overall slowdown in the economy, the global economy, everything will be impacted, but it's a second order impact. So because they're probably not feeling the first order impact, it's probably not impacting the investment decisions right now. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.